guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul from the two places that we stopped. I'm going to go ahead and do the second place we stopped first uh, just because I got only one book. So we went to Ollie's on our way home. They had quite a few that I already have or books that I just wasn't really interested in or um, a lot of sequels to series that I wanted to start but I didn't have the first book to the series and I'm trying to be better about that this year. So I only walked out of there with one book but went ahead and I got Close to You by Kara Isaac. Alright so the big chunk of this haul is from a bookstore in Tennessee. I believe they have four of them and it is a huge like warehouse type thing. There was actually an article written about it recently um, where people were like, oh, you need to go to this book bookstore, oh, I don't know who wrote the article, I don't know. But a friend of mine shared it and tagged me in it, and I saw it, I was like, oh, that's so cool, we're going to be driving through Tennessee. I didn't think we would actually stop, but my dad found one in Nashville, and that is the one that we stopped at, and that was McKay's bookstore. My goodness, guys, it was great. Um, there... Christian fiction lying like a wall and a half, packed full of books. They had an entire area for like love inspired books. They had books upon books upon books upon books. They had bargain books and all kinds of books and it was great. Again, it's like a warehouse type thing. Honestly, it reminded me a bit of um, half price books because when you go in, you can, I believe they buy books from you. It's kind of like bargain price books used books, stuff like that. They have movies and all kinds of stuff. It just really, it did remind me of a half price books, but they had a way bigger selection of Christian fiction and I absolutely loved it. So my mom and I went in and I only bought a couple books, but then my mom bought quite a few and I might have sold them from her to add them to my collection. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into those books. So one of the books I bought is of Rags and Riches, and this is a romance collection. So this is nine stories by nine different authors, um, a, like a rags to riches type theme. The next book book I got is All is Calm, All is Bright by Colleen Coble. Two novellas in one book, and they are Christmas novellas, and I have been trying to slowly get my hands on all of Colleen Coble's books, so I went ahead and picked this one up as well. The next book that my mom bought me was the Silent Governess by Julie Clausen, and I had this book. I technically now have two copies, and the reason I got a replacement is one, because it was cheap, and two, I have been looking for a replacement. If any of you guys are following me on Instagram, a while back I did a story where I showed you that it bent, like the cover had bent like all the way up. And I was so sad, I was devastated, my spine was tearing, but that copy of that book was signed by Julie. I sent it to her forever ago and she signed it for me. So that was the hardest part for me to let it go, but I decided that I really, really, really wanted another copy in better condition because it is my favorite book by her. I went ahead and sweet talked my mom into getting it for me. Fiction Reader Summit is happening again this year. Uh, if you remember, I'll even include the video. That was my fir first book signing. I went last year. But Julie is one of the authors that is coming this year. And no joke, I might have teared up a bit when I found out. I was so excited. So I will get the chance to take this and meet her in person and have her actually sign it in person. And uh, I'm just so, so excited. And the last stack of books is all Love Inspired Historical, so I will move through these rapidly. The Love Inspired line is actually what got me into reading Christian fiction. Thanks, Grandma, by the way. And um, I got hooked on the historical, and I have a major problem with collecting them. Sadly, they closed the line last year, so they no longer have updated books. They don't come out every month, but they have so many that I will probably never have all of them. But that's okay, I just pick up new ones when I can find them. So I'm gonna go through the ones that my mom bought for both of us. First 
first is Conveniently Wed by Angel Moore. The Texans Engagement Agreement by Noelle Markand, I believe. Lone Star Heiress by Winnie Griggs. The Cattleman Meets His Match by Sherry Shackelford. The Baby Compromise by Linda Ford. An Inconvenient Match by Janet Dean. Lady Outlaw by Stacey Henry. Pony Express Courtship by Rhonda Gibson. The Reluctant Guardian by Suzanne Dietz, I believe is how you say her name. Please forgive me if I butcher that. The Captain's Courtship by Regina Scott. The Irresistible Earl, also by Regina Scott. And this was a replacement copy again because my copy is well, 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 well loved. But I really wanted a really pretty copy and we found one, so I bought it. That is The Earl Mistaken's Bride by Abby Gaines. So those were all the books I got on vacation. We got quite a few and honestly, if you can, if you are ever in Tennessee, if you're look up and see how close you are to McKay's because it is definitely a bookstore I would love to go to again and definitely one I feel like everybody should go and just experience and see. It's super, super cool. And if you can go to an Ollie's, go. I've said this before, I have an Ollie's haul. I love it so much. Bought another book for an Instagram giveaway and if you are interested in seeing that or any other giveaways I do on my page, you can go ahead and follow me on For the Love of Christian Fiction. And you can also check out my blog, which is fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!